So ever since my unboxing of the all new MacBook Pro, one of the questions I've got pretty frequently is, can you connect the MacBook Pro to a TV or monitor and then use it like a desktop? And the answer is yes. I'm gonna show you how to do this step by step. I'm gonna connect the MacBook Pro to this monitor that I have here. And now this is a TV monitor combo and the process is pretty much the same whether you're using a monitor or a TV. The process is fairly simple and what you're gonna be able to do at the end of the whole thing is you're gonna be able to use your MacBook Pro like a desktop when you're at home. And when you need the portability, you're going to be able to pick up your MacBook Pro and walk out of the house and use it like a laptop. Now in order to use this laptop as a desktop, you're going to need an external keyboard like this one. I'm using the Logitech K750. It's an excellent keyboard, it's wireless, it's solar powered, and I'll leave a link to this in the description below in case you'd like to check it out. I'm also using a Logitech mouse, it's also wireless. Now whatever I end up using in this video, I'll leave links in the description below so you can easily find them. Now both the mouse and keyboard come with a wireless receiver like this one and all this does is it plugs directly into a USB port on the MacBook Pro. Now because the new MacBook Pro, which is the 2015 version of the MacBook Pro, only has two USB ports, you're probably going to need something like this, which is a powered USB hub. And what this does is it increases the total number of USB ports on your computer. Because remember, you're going to have to plug in one receiver for the mouse and one receiver for the keyboard. So that takes up both your USB ports. So you're going to need one of these hubs so that you can have have more USB ports in case you need to plug other stuff in. And I'll leave a link to this as well in the description below. But just to keep it simple, in this case, I'm going to plug the receiver directly into the USB port. And I plug the second receiver, the receiver for the mouse, into the USB port. Now once you've done that and you've turned your keyboard and mouse on, you should now be able to use the mouse on your MacBook Pro. So you've got your mouse, you've got access to your mouse, and you can use your keyboard to type. So the keyboard and the mouse are now connected to the Mac MacBook Pro. Now the next step is figuring out what sort of connector to use to connect the laptop to your screen. Now most TVs and monitors will actually have quite a few ports behind them. However, the port or connector that's most common is the HDMI connector. Now slightly older monitors will have a VGA connector which looks something like this. Now once you've figured out what kind of connector or port you have in the back of your monitor or TV, it's time to pick the connection cable or connection adapter. Now if you're like me, and have an HDMI port behind your TV or monitor, you're in luck because the MacBook Pro has a full-size HDMI port built in. And in that case, all you'll need is a full-size HDMI cable like this one. It has two full-size male HDMI connectors on either end. One side plugs into your monitor, the other side plugs into your MacBook Pro. However, if your monitor has a VGA port, which again looks like this, you're going to need to use the Thunderbolt port or Thunderbolt ports on the side of your MacBook Pro. And in order to plug a VGA cable from your monitor into the Thunderbolt port on the side of your MacBook Pro, you're going to need an adapter like this one. Now this is a Thunderbolt 2 VGA adapter. And with this adapter, you can plug a VGA cable into this side and then plug the adapter into the side of your MacBook Pro. Now if your monitor uses a connector other than a VGA or HDMI connector, you're going to need an adapter like this one. There are lots of different adapters adapters available for different types of display connectors that allow you to connect to the Thunderbolt port on your MacBook Pro. And I'll leave links to some of the more popular ones in the description below. Now here's something to remember when buying a VGA cable. You have to remember that unlike HDMI, this doesn't carry audio. It only carries the video signal from the computer to the TV. You still need a way to get audio from the MacBook to the TV or monitor in case your monitor has speakers. So when you do buy a VGA cable, make sure to buy a VGA cable that has a 3.5 millimeter male audio jack with it. And this allows you to plug the audio cable into the headphone jack on your MacBook Pro and then allows you to connect the other end to the audio input on the back of your monitor or TV. Now, when you use the MacBook Pro in the desktop mode, like we're going to do right now, you have to make sure that your charger is plugged in all the time. Otherwise, it won't work. You won't 
be able to use an external display. So always make sure that your charger is plugged into the laptop. So that's what I'm going to do first. The charger is plugged into the laptop. It's charging the laptop up and now we're ready to connect the laptop to the monitor. So I've powered my monitor on. I've connected the HDMI cable to the back of the TV or monitor in this case and I've selected the correct source. In this case it is HDMI 2. So make sure to use your remote to select the right source. Now if you're using a monitor there are no multiple sources. Now if you have a TV the different sources and now the final step is to plug the HDMI cable into the side of the MacBook Pro and as you can see the display on the MacBook Pro kind of blinked for a second and all of a sudden the same exact image appeared on your big screen. And you can now see that the mouse and keyboard which we installed earlier now work with the big screen. So you can go in and do anything just like you would with your MacBook Pro. Now you can go ahead and use it either with both displays on, that's up to you. But in my case what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the big display when I'm home. I prefer the portability of the MacBook Pro when I'm outside but I'd like to use a big display to do stuff when I'm at home and in order to turn this into a complete desktop all you need to do is close the lid and as soon as you close the lid it shuts the display on the MacBook Pro off the screen kind of blinks for a second and now the only display you have is the display on your big screen and your MacBook Pro has turned into a desktop and when you need your laptop back just unplug the HDMI cable and then open up your laptop and there it is you can pick it up and it's ready to go now this brings us to the end of this video and as I mentioned earlier I've put links to all the connectors and the USB hub and all the other cables that I mentioned in the video additionally I'm also going to put links to the this monitor, the one that I just used, and other popular monitors and TVs that you can hook up to the MacBook Pro. Hope this was helpful. If it was, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe to stay tuned for more reviews and how-to videos. Thanks for watching.